Hello, I'm Fontane the Scar Ghost. Now I'm going to set up with you the science glove gloves so that you can do the middle finger in VR to whatever people you want. Jokes about the science glove uh, gloves for fox feedback. So let's see how you can set up this gadget from when you unbox it to when you touch the vibe trackers and you touch it to the PC. So if you have lost the video about unboxing, I'll leave the description here in the video together with another video with a full review of the Sensical Gloves. But for now, let's see the setup, how it works. Okay, the first step is to attach the vibe tracker to the gloves so that you can have the position of your hands in VR. And you have 60 of freedom with the movements of the sense glove. So you take the amount that you find in the box and you match the screw and the cylinder of this mount with the holes of the vibe tracker. So there's only one way as you can see that one can fit on the other. And then you just to rotate the screw or even with your hands using the provider handle to fix the vibe tracker to the mount. Once you have the mouse set up, you have to attach it to the glove. And it's pretty easy. You attach it to the to that part of the middle finger. You can see there is a perfect fit between the four little legs of the mount. And then to fix it, there is another little screw in the box that you can use to attach the mount to the hand. So you can start rotating it with the top of your finger. And after you've done it with both of the gloves, you take this kind of screwdriver and uh, you fix the, um, the mounts with the, on the gloves so that they can't move. And so the fit is perfect. After you've done it for both gloves, you are ready to use this size glove in virtual reality. So it's time now to set up something else. It's time now to install the box that gives power to the gloves and connect uh, the data from the gloves to the PC. I already set it up on my table and put the four cables inside it. So on the rear, there are these blue USB cables. Blue cables are the data cables that you have to attach to the box and to the gloves. Look that there are some USB micro ports on the side of the gloves. And you have to put the USB micro port coming from the box into the gloves. Be careful that in some gloves it can be a bit hard to put it inside, so uh, stay strong and sooner or later it will enter. So after you do it for the first glove, it's time for the second glove. So you see that these cables are from the uh, leftmost um, part of the box that you see in the video. In this glove, it's actually, it was easier for me to touch it. So now the data can flow from the box to the gloves and vice versa. But now it's time to connect the box to the PC and to the power outlet. So to connect the box to the PC, we use the green cable. And we put the green cable in the, with the USB-A port into the PC, whatever USB port. And then there is the power cable that you touch in the, of course, in the usual power port that you have to attach to your power outlet. In this case, for me, 220 volts power outlet since I'm in Italy. Once you've connected all this cable, you're ready to go. The box becomes blue and also the gloves start emitting some blue light and you're okay to go. Okay, so before actually starting with the sense glove, my last advice is that you use this adapter that are provided with the Vive trackers. Because I know that with two Vive trackers, you can just use the trackers and you're done without using the controllers. But if you don't use the adapters, you can't also use the controllers. And it has happened to me that when I launched the first demo, uh, a menu from Symbia popped up and I couldn't operate it because there were no controllers connected to my PC. So just to be safe, Use the adapter so that you can connect the trackers and the controllers. And uh, if some menu of Symbia pops up, you can use the controllers to fix any problems. The gloves will work very well, even if the controllers are connected. So don't worry about it. So after we have set up all the hardware, it's finally time to wear the gloves. So um, let's start on how to wear it then you have to put the back of the gloves on the table and then put your hands inside after having opened all the straps after your hand is inside you have to be careful in putting all the fingers inside the fingertips 
always close the velcro and then also close the velcro on your hands making sure to be uh, so that the hands stay fixed inside your device so um, this is how you wear the sense glove on your first hand What you have seen in the previous part of the video was the naive way of putting the glove. So if you want some advice on how to wear it better, my advice is to never remove completely the straps and once you have fitted it the first time, to leave the caps with the same measure of your fingers. So you can insert it this way that you see in the video. Um, it's so much faster. So also two things to keep in mind. The straps must be on the fingertips, so not in the middle of the finger. And be sure that the thumb stays between the two main stripes. So don't put the two main stripes on top of the palm, but the thumb must be between them, as you can see clearly in this video. So after that, fix the two straps around the thumb, and you should be okay with your first hand. After you have worn the first glove, the difficult part is wearing it on your second hand because the, la the other hand they should help you as the glove that prevents the movement. Uh, so if there is someone around you that can help you, the better. Otherwise, my advice is that you put the first glove on your dominant hand. So in my case, my right hand. So not as I'm doing in this video, that it was my first experiment. Why? Because even if you have the glove, your dominant hand can move better, so it can help more the other hand. If you put it more before on your non-dominant hand, you are like blocked and have more difficulty in wearing it. But anyway, with a bit of patience, you can use it and wear it on both hands. If you have done everything correctly, well, now you have two hands with two awesome sense glove gloves, which you can play in virtual reality. Okay, after that we have our gloves completely set up in our hands. They have the blue light, everything is working. So it's time to turn on the vibe tracker by pressing this button and waiting for the light to become green. And then it's time to wear our headset and try some amazing experiences with our sense gloves. So you may wonder if there is <clears throat> like a runtime to install, and the answer is no. Um, there is no runtime, no diagnostic tool, and that's also a bit a problem of the science glove. Probably something that should be implemented in the future. But after you have set up the hardware, you just launch a demo, and it should work. <clears throat> so you can find two kind of demos. The first one is the Unity demo, so you open Unity, and you import the Sense Glove SDK, and then you launch one of the scenes that lets you grab some objects, or you launch the space demo that um, Sense Glove may give to you. It has given it to me is a training experience that lets you grasp objects with your hands. So. This is how you test your sense glove, and if they work, the setup is completely finished. If they don't work, you have to contact the company to have your problems fixed. So that's it for the setup procedure of the sense glove gloves. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the case, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.